Dr. Zhivago, the novel written by Boris Pasternak, was published in 1957. Under the communist regime, it had to be smuggled out of Russia and flown to Italy, where it was published and translated into many languages and became a worldwide success. The novel is a story of the life and loves of a doctor and a poet, Yuri Zhivago. It is set against the years leading up to the Great War, through the Russian Revolution, the Civil War, to the formation of the Soviet Union. There are many different stories and events woven through this tapestry, but the dramatic focus is on the five central characters. Three men in love with the same woman, Lara, and two women in love with the same man, Yuri. I've just re-listened to the recording from the musical Frühling in Gmünn. I'm stunned by its power. By presenting the whole show, the listener can experience the drama of the show, the nuances, and they can understand the relationships. I don't understand German, but I was captured by its honesty. Of course, I have the advantage of knowing what they're talking about. I've always been attracted to the idea of rebirth. Love, art, and beauty live on after death and contribute to the cumulative humanity of civilization. Rebirth and recreation is a strong theme in this novel. This is the last sentence in the epilogue of the novel. I'm going to read from Dr. Givard. Two old friends, Zhivago's best friends, are, are sitting reading a book of, of Dr. Dr. Zhivago's writing, of Yuri Zhivago's writings, ten years after his death, and they're looking out the window into the streets of Moscow. Thinking of this story and their children, they were filled with tenderness and peace, and they were enveloped by the unheard music of happiness that flowed all about them and into the distance, and the book they held seemed to confirm and encourage their feeling. Oh, that passed. Um, this led to my thinking about our theme song, which is On the Edge of Time. I knew this was a theme we wanted to explore and follow. Writing a musical is a long journey that writers don't casually take on. Dr. Zhivago proved to be an unusually enormous mountain to climb that took years to achieve. The creative team often disagreed, and I frequently lost. Many important producers thought that a female composer was not the right fit, and many disapproved of the display of adultery. Reviewers in New York said that it was a poor man's attempt at Les Miserables. In fact, the New York reviews were so negative that the show closed in three weeks. We were so exhausted and beaten down, we were ready to accept defeat. Except <laughs> the wonder of rebirth allowed the musical to be discovered and reborn in Europe. A huge, magnificent production at Poland at the Opera Podlansk was followed by an equally wonderful, modest version in Leipzig and now in Gmünd. The last three tracks on this recording traces the steps of the song On the Edge of Time in becoming the love song of this musical. First it is sung in complete form as the lovers reunite in the ice palace, as they are able to fully experience their love in the last remaining ten days before their permanent separation. Then after Komarovsky takes Lara away to safety, Zhivago in his delirium writes the poem to the underscoring of the tomb. Now as shadows fall, you are the light, softly you surround me. Then when Pasha Strelnikov enters, hoping to find Lara, he challenges Zhivago to who loved Lara more, and he reads the Zhivago poem and realizes that love is more powerful than revolution and shoots himself. Finally, at Zhivago's funeral, ten years later, 
their daughter, conceived during their last ten days together, starts to read, sing the poem at the gravesite. Now as shadows fall, you are the light. Softly you surround me. She's joined by Lara and the mourners who have committed this poem to their memory and they participate in the ceremony in spite of the risk under Stalin regime. Even the guards join the ceremony and finally Zhivago comes in and he sings the final lines. I know our love will live on the edge of time with you. I had almost forgotten about the construction of these scenes, but it comes again alive in this recording. This recording has the courage to go beyond the pleasure of the music experience to the whole drama of the work. The music fruling in Gemuden has done a superb job in their performance and production of Dr. Zhivago. I'm so grateful for this dedication to this art form and for being included in the repertoire. Thank you so much.